Man, we have been eating well. So today we're going to have Asian tacos because I got them at the Costco. Five dozen corn tortillas for like three bucks. And then we're going to use this uh, short rib yakini. Ooh. And then we're going to um, do it very similarly to the last recipe we did with the gobu. And so it's going to use some sesame seeds, a little bit of sesame oil, soy sauce, sugar. Um, and we're going to do green beans with garlic and pomelo. So this is like our vegetable dish. This is our taco um, fixins. And that's our meal today. So I'm going to prep my pomelo. So for you guys who don't know what pomelo is, I don't know what pomelo is either. I think I've had one before, but you know, it escapes me. So my understanding is that it's grapefruit-like, but maybe not quite as acid, not quite as juicy, quite meaty. So if you were gonna say a beefy grapefruit, that might apply. And I'm going to prep these. So I'm getting quite happy with the sesame seeds. So I'm gonna use sesame seeds on everything tonight also. So if I understand correctly, prep the pomelo, prep the green beans, boil the green beans quickly. I am going to serve it cold because it's sort of, it's making sense to me that with the pomelo, it gets served cold. I am not going to cook the pomelo. I'm going to cook the green beans and I'm going to, you know, do the sesame oil and everything. And then I'm going to take it out and put it in the fridge. Oh yeah, this thing is almost all rind. Look at that. I took this much off and it's still all rind. Now we're getting somewhere. Mmm. Good. Just a tint of grapefruit. But really it is exactly that meaty. The flavor, it's like if you had grapefruit flavored water. Not very strong. Really actually very good. So good. Now I can separate the rest of them. So this is the pomelo all cleaned. It looks very wasteful. It's at least 50%, um, probably more than 50% waste. But it's quite delicious already and I'm looking forward to this. Alright, we've washed the green beans. We're going to cut the ends off and then we're going to saute it. And there we are with our garlic. And we put some oil. We're gonna put some. We're gonna put soy sauce in. Let me think about this. Oil, sugar, no soy sauce for a change. We don't want soy sauce and everything. We don't want everything tasting the same. Then we'll put the garlic in. Garlic and sugar. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. There we are with the garlic, and we'll toss some sugar in now. There we are. It's cooking. Turn on the. I'm going to toss the beans in now. Alright, ready? Add some sesame seeds. Because I like how it looks with the sesame seeds decorating it. Okay, so we want it to get the, the darker look, but we don't want it to get black. So it's about right now, I think. And I'm going to take it out and put it in the fridge. Next, we're going to prep the mushrooms. These are oyster mushrooms from China, and I want to make it a little bit savory, but I want to have the good old ubiquitous, is that the word, sesame seed, and I'm going to put some soy sauce in this one, and we're going to do the beef. But I'm going to prep everything, and I'm not going to cook it now, because that will cook very quickly, and I'm waiting for my cuts to get home. For these, I'm deciding that I'm going to cook them whole. I'm not going to chop them up because I kind of like the um, the big size of them. And it's going to go into tacos, so we kind of want something sizable, I think. Or maybe I will chop them. Let me think about that. And I'm just slivering the, the meat. I forget what it's called, but that's what I'm doing. Now for the meat portion of the meal, we're using the same pan. 
I'm lazy that way today. <clears throat> Heating up the oil and the soy sauce and a little bit of sugar will go in. I will use sugar again. And uh, then we'll toss in the meat and we'll stir these around just a little. Okay, there it is. Just go whole bubbling up. Dump it all in. Then we add the mushrooms and stir fry some more. The tea is on the stove top. Just a low flame. Heat them up. And there we go. Green beans with pomelo.